Guys, so happy you made it to uh, tutorial three or video three. Um, we're almost there. This won't be that long, um, but it's going to be the most fun. We get to mess with animation. We get to bring this thing to life. We get to to really, 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 really um, dive into the power of Swift UI, and, I, and I'm so excited to show you. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? Uh, excited to be back here in the last episode of uh, you know this tutorial. Um, yeah, so we're definitely gonna dive into this now. I'm actually gonna you know I closed out. Actually, no, I'm good. Actually, uh, so what we're gonna do is um, I actually sorry about this. I <laughs> I actually have some. I was working through this practicing real quick so that I can make it easier on you guys, but um, just give me a sec. And we'll get back to normal here. All right, so we're back to normal. Um, this is, uh, yeah, this is what we had, this is where we left off. We have the card data and everything. Um, and now what we wanna do is we wanna, you know, we're gonna add some animation to this, right? Cause uh, we're definitely ready. Um, we have everything on uh, this page that we need. We built the bottom card. Um, so let's definitely jump into it. So for one, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna integrate an animation that I that I caught up from that I learned from my um, my favorite my favorite designer that I follow, Meng Tu. Um, go check him out. He does he runs a lot of design code uh, courses for specifically for designers. Um, but I've learned a ton from him. He's a great teacher. Um, and you know, yeah, definitely check them out. But, uh, so, so what we're going to do first is we're actually going to move this rotation card, cut it, and we're going to bring them down here, put them right here like this. Um, and then we're going to actually embed this into a, um, into a, uh, H, uh, V stack for now. And we're going to call this, um, a geometry reader and we're going to do Geometry, I'm terrible at spelling, so give me a sec. Geometry in. All right, so this geometry reader, for those who don't know, is pretty powerful, right? Um, so it's gonna be constantly reading your X and Y axis. Um, and you know you can do a lot of complex animations with this. So you know, you're gonna see once we add uh, this geometry reader, you know, we're going to get the stack. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and mess with this stack. And I believe, I believe we put the frame here and I think it's with 75. Yeah. Height, maybe a hundred. Um, let me just cut this up, put it right here. See what this does. Nope. Okay. So we're gonna take this, put it right here, and maybe we do seventy-five. Oh, whoa, whoa, seventy-five, one fifty, two hundred, two hundred. All right. So we have we have our scroll view back up and running, right? And you're probably asking, well, why the hell do I want to add a you know geometry reader right here? Everything was working. Uh, so I'm going to show you this, this is a, so this is, don't get me wrong. This is kind of cool, right? Like this slide is kind of cool, but what if we could add some movement to these cards? Um, and that's what we're kind of going to do with the uh, rotation 3d, um, effect. Um, so I have this code written down here, degrees, it's going to be double and then GI geometry dot frame and then in uh, dot global min x so minus 20 and we're going to do divided by 30 and then we're going to add a comma axis and this is going to be x 10 y minus 20 and z zero oh not negative oh zero. All right, so this should be, got the dot. Don't forget these little things. So if this all works correctly, you know, this should all kind of, you know, come in into for tuition here. Um, you know, these these turn purple and uh, you're gonna see, I'm just gonna restart this just, just to like, just to see. Um, and then look, look at this. Look how much cooler this slide is now. Look, you see how the cards are kind of like coming into view. 
I don't know. I think it adds a really cool feel to it. Um, but yeah, so we added that. Now it's probably, I, I would probably say the hardest part. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is set up our uh, animation, right? Uh, so just to repeat, our animation, um, you know, w when we click a card, right, we want it to pop up, we want the header to change, and we want this bottom card right here to pop up as well. So to do that, Swift UI works in states. So I'm going to do card move um, equals false. Okay, create a state. Then we're going to have to come down here and we're going to have to bind it. So at binding uh, var uh, card move is a boolean. boolean. Um, and then what that's going to have to do, they're going to be like, oh, what the hell, you know, um, this this cards these cards here need to be you know just linked um, to this component here right you know we we binded we took this state and we binded it to this component but this this um, this uh, like struct here needs to you know get access uh, to anything that we that we mess with regarding to this uh, to this card move so what you have to do is you can just literally go here click fix and since we're in in these parentheses you actually have to do self dot card move um, and that should work cash on forgot about that and actually let me make sure my steps on do not disturb all right so all right so we have so we have everything set in place you're gonna see this is this should be working fine right um, cool so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start moving things around um, so what we're going to do first is get this moving correctly when when we want to when we tap this when we tap any card so we're actually going to come down here we're going to do on tap gesture and um we're going to do um self dot card move equals true Oh, dot. I always forget that dot. Dot on that gesture. All right, so that should be good. All right, and then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna do. We're gonna. So this padding right here, right? Look, scroll view. Look, I click here. It takes me to the end of the scroll view, right? So we want to move this whole scroll view. This is a scroll view, right? We want to move it up. Um, so what, all we have to do is this card move, and I believe this is gonna be minus a hundred. Um, so what this pretty much means is on on card move so card when you click when card move is activated right so when we click right on tab gesture when we tap a card like this what's going to happen well the question mark means that's what's going to happen so this is going to go up minus 100 and i think we're probably going to need to move it up more um but if it's not if the if card move isn't true then it's uh 50 pixels from the top if it is true it's minus 100 so if we click this you see it moves okay right so that's pretty freaking cool um but actually i'm going to move it up to like 200 probably and you're going to see the preview kind of bug out a couple of times here until we get to where we need to be um uh but yeah i'll, I'll keep resetting a lot of things so just bear with me because it's just swift ui um secondly we want to move these cards and, and turn them horizontal right so that's going to be easy all we have to do is do this so on tap you know, this is going to move sideways, right? So, okay, so we're, we're making great progress, right? Um, so what do we have to do now? Well, first of all, we have to add a dot animation here, right? Um, that's, and, and I love the spring animation, so I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it spring. Um, but this would, this will let, see how that, it gives that nice soothing look, you know, it, it's soft. Um, before this, if we take this out, before, it just goes right add this animation dot animation element to it and it it adds some soothing to it to the movement um, we're also going to have to add a dot animation dot spring here uh, because we are moving this whole thing and i also added i'm also just going to do a dot animation um on the z stack as well i just want to see um, just because we're going to be messing with like this whole frame so we might as well add it here too 
but as you can see now, look, it's nice and smooth, okay? So everything is exactly how we want it so far. Um, now we have to, now let's try and pull this card up, right? So this is again, pretty easy. Card move, question mark, and let's just make it 300. Otherwise, get the heck off the screen. Uh, and then obviously you're gonna have to add a, a dot animation spring to it. All right, so that it, it jumps up smoothly. So if I tap this, Look, look how nice that looks. Um, so, okay, so we need to move it up a little more. So it might be like uh, 250, I'm thinking. See, you're going to see this is going to bug out a little. Okay. Okay. So that's right where we need it to be. So maybe we just move this up a little. Um, maybe it's minus 250. Nice. Perfect. It's exactly where we want it. All right, so... What we're going to do is um, we're going to take this, we're going to manipulate some stuff up here, right? Um, so, uh, you know what, first let's actually get a reset going. Um, so I'm going to do an on tab gesture here. And just like before, self.cardMove equals, but in this time it's false. So once we click a card, right, well, we want to reset it. So how are we going to reset it? Well we want to be able to tap anywhere you know outside of the scroll view so if i tap outside the scroll view it's going to close i mean look how nice this looks right um okay so real quick before we finish here um it's offset of minus 250 so let's do card move let's do minus 50 otherwise minus 250 let's just see what this looks like okay so i went the wrong way all right so let's do 350 all right that's close maybe it's just 300 you're gonna see let's make this 270 275 just uh, reset this real quick let it load yeah that's what I thought uh, so usually what I do is because I don't like quitting out of Xcode I usually just click some of these screens over here um, come back in here should say resume um, click here a couple times click play let it load in the meantime what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add something that we need to add so we're gonna add another text element here um, we're gonna name it um, breakdown Okay, and we're gonna give it a uh, font um, system, make it 19 dot bold and rounded. Okay, then we're gonna do a f uh, foreground color of dot white. All right, so there's our breakdown. This is exactly, what we just want that to kind of show up when we click this. Um, to do that, we're gonna give it an opacity of, um, card move is one otherwise zero and um, we're gonna add a dot animation to this V stack right so that anything that we animate in here is gonna have that animation uh, soft animation to it um, and then what we're gonna do is actually yeah I just actually I'm gonna see what this looks like real quick I'm actually gonna just see what this looks like um, cause I might switch things up. I just want to see, uh, zero and make this, uh, wow. One and zero and make this a one. All right. So I just want to see this, uh, yeah, this always happens. All right. <laughs> See if we can. Let's see if we can run on the simulator. The actual, actual simulator. Pull this guy up, and he doesn't want to play nice either. All right. Yeah, there's an error. Saw that coming. All right, good. So now we can probably finally make this work. Um, and we're going to close all this stuff. 
because I don't care about the arrow right now. This should work. Alright, don't worry. We'll get this working soon. Um, let's see here. Card move. Just had the on tapping. True, yep. Okay, so we ha we literally have everything. Um, see if uh wants to play nice. You just gotta, unfortunately, since we're doing some pretty complex animations. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so we have, look, we have our cards, right? We have our cards. And when I click, this um, opacity goes to zero. And this pops up. And then we click out, and this comes back and changes. Now, mind you, you know, there is some things, some quirks to, uh, you know, to what I've designed and coded. Um, for one, you know, if I, you know, for one, when I click, um, it doesn't center to the screen. So you definitely, like, if I click right here, let's just say I click this guy, you see, and like you can definitely scroll, which is cool. Um, and then another thing is this doesn't adapt to what card, um, you know, that I currently have, and this won't adapt. Uh, I mean, I guess that doesn't matter because my current balance, but there are some quirks. But at least this gives you the opportunity to kind of mess with what I have. Um, and make it better you know i, I want to encourage everyone out there to dive into swift ui make things better teach me things and um, i'll be uploading the code uh to this uh on my git so feel free to check it out um but yeah i think this is a pretty cool animation if you ask me i mean come out here click you know these things go in and out um but yeah i'm, I'm gonna be uploading another video this week but uh, you know i, I want to give you guys something to you know dissect and uh you know i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please like subscribe um you know comment i really want to i want you to comment if you have anything uh you know you want to share with me or you want me to do you know please 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 put it in the comments i'd love to replicate it i'd love to do it for you and teach you um but other than that thanks for uh joining this uh this this episode this tutorial and uh, i'll see you in my next ones